how did you buy your kids some great stem and robot toys thinking that your children will learn how to code did you buy them because they asked for them because they played with them at school and you thought they're using them at school and an educational purpose they'll use them like that at home or did you watch some youtube video that told you how great this toy was and that they're you could use it to learn how to do all these things so you thought I'll get that for my kids too. And you brought them home and your kids opened them up and were very excited. They just use them as glorified uh, remote control toys and you're sitting here going, I spent a lot of money. I could have bought that $25 toy off of the shelf at Target if this is how you wanted to use it. I'm here to help you with that. My kids use their robots as remote control toys all the time, which sometimes is great. It's just fun to blow off some steam. Sometimes you're like, spend a lot of money. Let's learn how to use these in ways that will help you develop and we'll have a great time doing it. So on this channel, I'm gonna go over all of that with you. My name is Karen. My channel here is Tinker Mom. We're gonna go over how to use things like this guy. He is Wonder Workshop's Q robot. I always wanna call him Clue, but his name is Q or these are the Ozobot Evos. We have a couple of these and my kids love them, but most of the time they don't do anything with them. Here's the robot we use the most and it's probably mostly used as a remote control toy, but I can show you some great ways that you can use this as an educational purpose, even in your own home. And I can almost guarantee you that you'll have fun doing it too. And then our very first robot was a make block robot. And I really love this guy because you actually have to build him and then he's customizable. But my kids almost never take him out of the box. So I'm hoping that we can find some new ways to explore this guy. And say you're not into robots, that's okay. I'm going to have other videos too. I have a science cart that's mostly filled with dollar store items and stuff I was going to throw in the trash anyway that my kids use to build and create. We also have some Makey Makeys and Makey Makey Goes and I have tons of science books so I think that we should just go through everything on this channel and use it together to find new ways to explore and learn. I know that when I go through Pinterest, I get very frustrated at the idea of reading all of this stuff and then going, it's a lot of materials I gotta go find or materials I gotta go make or this is just way too complicated to do at home with my kids. I have a bunch of books that sometimes, and even Pinterest that I do, that they don't work these days the way they, the way they say they should. So I love to explore how to make them work and document how I made them work. So maybe we can do that here so that we can all learn together. So we can take our Pinterest fails and make them Pinterest wins. Because we all know that it's all about just having some fun with our kids and hopefully maybe everybody is learning along the way. So if you're interested in doing any of these things with me, hit the subscribe button and comment below with robots you have at home or things you'd love to see me do in the future. And I'm gonna tell you to have a robotic day.